So let's look at smart bins here in DaVinci Resolve. And what smart bins do is sort of automatically put into folders uh, our clips based on information uh, that we give it. So it's a quick way to organize things without having to manually uh, do it if you don't want to. All right, so first up, make sure up here in view, you are showing your smart bins because if you can't see them, obviously you can't, uh, you can't work with them. So we have our smart bins showing over here in our media pool. So let's go ahead and right click and say add a smart bin. And in here we can go ahead and give it a name. Let's go ahead and call this one audio, okay? Audio. Now, down here we have a bunch of different options to choose from in our drop down. So media pool properties or a bunch of different metadata here. For this we want media pool properties and instead of file name, let's come down to clip type. Okay? Now is or is not, we want is and drop down here is we want audio. Now you'll have to come in here yourself and check out all of your uh, all of your different options, but what we want is audio. Okay, now we can add more rules to this if we want, but this is fine for what we want here. Click create smart bin, and there is our audio smart bin right there. I selected all of my audio is now categorized for me right here in our audio smart bin. I can always go back to my master bin here. And as you can see, I have a lot of audio in here, but of course it's spread you know all throughout our bin here. So it of course will be much quicker to find now if I'm looking for audio. Boom, select my audio smart bin. There is all of my audio. Cool. Let's do this again. Let's right click and add a smart bin. Actually, cancel here. I have a bunch of clips in here with the name girls. So girl there, just girl there, girl there. Right. And if I want all those clips in their own bin, instead of having to create one over here, I can go ahead and create a smart bin. So right click, add smart bin, and we'll call this one here a uh, female video clips or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so media pool properties in this case is what we want. And let's go for I think file name and contains girl. Okay, but that's not going to get everything for us. Because we have some called girls, we have some called female, we have some called uh, women, right? So let's go ahead and add another rule here. So file name contains a uh, woman. And we'll say, um, uh, female. So right now you can see over here, we don't have anything showing at all. That's because right here we have match all of the following rules where in this case we want match any of the following rules. Okay. So create smart bin. So now we have our female video clips all categorized right in here. And we'll do it one more time here. So we have a bunch of compound clips in here as well. So let me right click and add a smart bin and uh, maybe I want a smart bin for all of my compound clips. So I'll just give that a name. Okay. Again, we're going to go with uh, clip type, but of course you can do a bunch of different things like your video codec, optimized media resolution, so on and so forth. But we want uh, clip type in this case and is, and we want compound create that smart bin. So now I have all of my compound clips that I can search through very quickly. All right, so all you gotta do, right click on your smart bins, go ahead and add a smart bin. You can also add a folder. So right here we have a folder with a smart bin inside that. So you can also add folders for different uh, different things as well. But it's that quick, right click, add smart bin, give it a name, are you gonna match all or match any, and go through all of your different options in here and choose just what you want, either from the file name, the clip name, the real name, your start time code, the shot, the scene, whatever you uh, you want to do here. Clip type is, is not, video, compound, reference clip, stereo, fusion, a generator. So go to a generator, for example, create that smart bin. Let me uh, go ahead and actually give this a name, call it titles. And as you can see, all of my titles that we created in different videos are all in here and ready to go. All right. So that is using our smart bins here in DaVinci Resolve.